The first yeah, yeah. thing uh, we need to keep in mind is like, uh, uh, just like I mentioned earlier, that unless what is not within you already, you cannot concentrate. Okay, same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. For example, like if you need to experience something, certain kind of evolution, spiritual evolution has to be within you. Okay, already. Right. Uh, but it does not necessarily also that so, because unfortunately, like in many, many situations, what I've seen is like, uh, people have actually come across certain kind of like occult practices or like a certain kind of things, which has actually created certain kind of damage in their energy body or make their energy body very sensitive. Okay, there's two words. One is called known as a sensitivity. Another one mm -hmm. is known as the receptivity. The receptivity basically means you can turn on and turn off as your will. Okay, just like I can close my eyes, I can open my eyes, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes? Yeah. 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 But like, uh, even if you're co closing your eyes or opening your eyes, same thing is happening. It's no good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because of this reason, like, uh, there are a lot of people like, uh, I've actually come across all of this because of that reason, like, uh, they have to do a lot of hot yoga and everything. But what I suggest yeah. is like, uh, you just go through sadhana or that is given by Sadhguru because, mm -hmm. uh, if you directly go to something like, uh, you know, for example, like uh, why I went over there, the first reason is. I don't actually need to go to all these kind of places in the first place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It actually adds, uh, like, uh, you know, gives me a lot of insight into how these things works. That is added mm -hmm. benefit and everything. But in terms of like a uh, mysticism, like it's a very rich information and uh, rich yeah. uh, knowledge and like understanding and insight to have. But from the spiritual point of view, like it's, you can say it's useless. Okay. <laughs> because not everybody has to travel like this. But coming back, like, uh, you know, yeah. uh, not everybody can do the sadhana, so they need to make use of this energy spaces also, because I have also exactly, done it yeah. in the past. That is the only reason I started mapping this also. Otherwise, like, uh, why should I do it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so coming completely. back, like, uh, how to approach this? The first thing is, you need to do your sadhana and everything. And just like, mm -hmm. the, there are two aspects of it. If you mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. go to these places, and if you are receptive, and you can directly connect to the deity, you have to remain as equanimous as possible. Okay, just okay. connect to the deity and let the deity do the things that is going to do to you. Uh, that is the best way to do it because uh, if you try to do certain kind of thing, there can be like a certain kind of friction in your system and that is not very good. Okay, yeah. just like because that is the reason I'm going like a very more hardcore here. That is the reason Sadhguru says yeah. when you go to certain kind of powerful space, you don't do anything. Okay, yeah. because that intelligence is higher than you. Okay. Exactly, now that yes. is one aspect. because like uh, let's say like the energy is going one direction and you are trying to do the completely different kind of like uh, you know uh, like uh, you know madness over there <laughs> it's going to be conflict <laughs> and it is not very uh, productive it's going to be counterintuitive that is one aspect of it and there is another reason also like uh, why i'm saying to this uh, mm -hmm. there are certain kind of deities which are very 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 powerful and these are yeah. not actually consecrated also okay yeah, i've yeah. been to like many places like this and uh, why I told you, like, you have to go in an equanimous way is because, see, like, uh, just having a transaction with the people is a lot of mess, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> people have expressed that one. Okay. So yeah. think about, like, having a transaction with the deity. Okay. <laughs> so mm. that is what we call as a runanubandha. Okay. Yeah. Runanubandha is not only you can develop with a being also. You can build with the deity also. And the one day, that is the only reason, like a lot of deities in all across like uh, India and even in Kathmandu Valley are alive. A lot of temples are alive. Only because of that, because these people have accepted that temple a deity as a their Kula Devata or Kula Devi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now you have certain kind of you know transaction is there. Okay. So that is the reason, like you have to fulfill certain kind of you know rituals and everything and maintain that uh, connection. Uh, but like uh, if you are you know fast forward. And if you are wanting to hear about the liberation, then it's better you just have a connection and just like yeah. let the deity do what uh, she wants to do. So if you do the economist way and everything, that is the best way to approach always. Okay, that is one aspect of it. Oh. Uh, otherwise, like uh, if you want to do like uh, uh, the way to experience, let's say like uh, I told you about the connecting and everything that is very, very, it was very, very important. But now like uh, how to become yeah, yeah. available to these things and everything is completely subjective. Okay, and it can happen okay. completely different in different people and everything. That is the only reason like we never share any kind of experiences. Okay, 
So people think yeah, that okay, yeah. I'm showing a shiva or like a you know green light, blue light, or like a flower, all these kind of things, <laughs> or whatever is happening. <laughs> it is going to create like a you know misleading things to like a other seekers. Okay, this is not good. Okay, yeah. this is very very dangerous. You will be creating a lot of karma with this. Okay, if you share these kind of things, mm -hmm. uh, because okay. the moment you share something, you have to do in a very conscious manner and everything. So uh, it, exactly. for some people, just like I said, like uh, some people have got certain kind of, let's say, the nature has actually failed to create like a foolproof product. <laughs> for example, like uh, let's say you in a manufacturing plant, let's say you produce like a thousand mobile phones. One mobile phone can be defect same way when the nature is creating, let's say, like a thousand human bodies or uh, one or two human bodies may not be foolproof. So they already have access to this kind of dimension from the beginning itself that I have seen. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And uh, some people will be doing a lot of sadhana, but like uh, they are not able to experience uh, all that kind of thing. But you don't need to worry about that. That is when like uh, you actually have the opportunity to work on your sadhana mm -hmm. so that your system is completely ready and then those perceptions will open to you. That is actually a blessing. But let's say like uh, if you are, your system is not available, but your system is already receptive to these energies. And if you don't have enough sadhana and enough uh, balance in your system, and if you go to these kind of places and crazy experiences will happen, it may sound great for the people. Like we have watched all these kind of, you know, Marvel movies and all that, these kind of supernatural things and everything. In terms of experience, it might be crazy, but it is not going to be transformative because like it can create a lot of issues in your life. Okay, so uh, it's always better like you develop certain kind of balance in your system, do your sadhana, and then uh, the main way is uh, Sadhguru presents, Sadhguru like a satsangs mm -hmm. and uh, Isha program. Yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. If you go through all these things and now like uh, once you start to experience a little bit of perception or something, you can go through this one. Even if you are not experiencing anything, you can go also. That is a great thing because in some of the cases, like uh, there are one Anna, okay? Uh, he may or may not be watching mm -hmm. this video. Like <laughs> I need to use examples also. So this Anna actually traveled with me because he was very much interested with what I was sharing in the internet and everything. So he came with me in a yatra to one of the most different yatra in the Uttarakhand. Okay. Because yeah. uh, in that kind of places, like the energy spaces are not very close to each other. You have to travel a lot of distance. And in many cases, you have to trek a lot also. Okay. okay. And uh, for me, uh, it was not about like a spiritual uh, yatra or something. For me, like uh, it was more like, a, you know, uh, you can say like a karma yoga or it was more like a assignment. Okay. Uh -huh. I just wanted to know whether these places are alive or not. So if I go in and I experience something, for me, it's done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point for me. But this one was like a little bit like a furious after a while because like he, uh, you know, suspended his job, like a family responsibilities and he was traveling with me and everything. And he was going through all these energy spaces, high energy spaces, and he was unable to experience all this kind of thing. But on the third or fourth day or something, his, uh, you know, like uh, uh, his patience has worn out. He said, like, I'm going mm -hmm. home, Anna, like, I'm going back and everything. I said, like, it's fine, Anna, like, if you want to go, like, that is completely fine also. And yeah, uh, yeah. on that part, like, what actually happened was, like, he started experiencing something already. And he started cracking open that shell. Why, like, uh, these programs are actually, like, uh, you know, three days, four days, five days, why eight days and everything is because you need certain kind of intensity and everything what you can muster has to go towards a certain direction with certain intention so that it is going to happen. Okay, that is what yeah, yeah. I was talking about. The integrity of the system has to be there. So now like uh, recently, like uh, he did uh, Samyam also. So he was sharing like a lot of experiences and now like uh, he went to Linga Varevi Temple and he can experience yeah. now very easily. So <laughs> yeah. So even if you don't experience anything, you can just go and do the sadhana. That is going to be beneficial. Uh, just like I mm -hmm. mentioned that like uh, try to avoid certain kind of energy spaces. But the question mm -hmm. might actually come why I have got certain kind of energy spaces that are not conducive in the website. Okay. One thing is mm. uh, the nature, what we live in is neither good nor bad. It's not for us or not for anybody else. Just like we yeah, have yeah. our own karma, the nature also has got its own karma. Okay. We're just like yeah. a, going through our karma. So there is no such thing as a positive, negative energies or something like that. So how the people are going to use it, that's the one thing. And like a consecration is a dying art. Okay. Dying art and everything, a lot of temples are in ruins and everything. So it becomes mm -hmm. very, very important that like people know about these things. And this can also like a crack open. For me as a seeker, 
like if you have never med meditated anything and if you go to the Kali temple, let's say, and you experience something, and if you experience of the, something of the uh, other dimension, now you will become a seeker. That is good enough for me. But the people mm -hmm. who are already into the dedicated practice, they should not go to this places. <laughs> These yeah, are the two different things. Got it. Got it. Yeah.